Now we'll go to our game of the week. It's the Hawkinsville Red Devils at home against the visiting Mitchell County Eagles entering the field. Everybody fired up for this one. Early on in the first quarter, Hawkinsville fumbles. Ball recovered by Mitchell. That is recovered by Terry Burley, a junior. Mitch, Mitchell County takes over already up. 3-0, and then the same drive. This is a pass from Bruce Bryant, rolling right and finds Anthony Thomas. He is down around the 10. Same drive, though. The handoff, Hawkinsville, they hold. That is a clutch stop for them. They get the ball back, and then here is the handoff to Dontavious Grace to get them within a yard of the first down. He would later have an 88-yard run, which would be huge. And then, But this drive uh, ends just short, but Hawkinsville would win a close one, 17-12. Fox 31's Doug Reardon made the long drive to Hawkinsville tonight just to give us a little extra analysis. Doug? Welcome back to the Blitz. We will try now to go back to our good friend Doug Reardon who is out at the Hawkinsville game. What's going on out there, Doug? Yeah, hey, sorry about that, guys. Why don't we try this again? As I said, last week of the Blitz, I'm very excited about it. Welcome to Hawkinsville, site of a phenomenal game here tonight between the Hawkinsville Red Devils and the Mitchell County Eagles. Now, your final score tonight, Hawkinsville will be moving on by a score of 17-12. to 12. I know I showed you the highlights earlier. There was a lot you didn't see. You're probably wondering how it got from 6-3 to three at the half to 17-12 to 12 at the final. I'm going to tell you. Hawkinsville came into this one 7-3. Mitchell County came in 6-4. and four. Mitchell County was actually missing their star running back. You wouldn't have guessed it, though. Uh, Hawkins, Hawkinsville started out their first two possessions with two straight fumbles. One of them actually hurt them pretty bad. There was a quarterback keeper that you didn't see that was rushed in for six points. PAT was not good, so it remained at six. That's how they got their six, Mitchell County, that is. The other one didn't hurt them too much. They actually ended up getting the ball back on turnover on downs for Mitchell County. But, uh, again, it, it was a rough start for Hawkinsville, to say the least. Now, indulge me for just a moment. I'm going to fill you in on what you didn't see there in those highlights. Here's what we missed. Uh, it was a rough game on the ground. It was kept mostly on the ground. Not a lot of passing tonight. Uh, kept it in between the 30s, as we like to say. There wasn't a lot of red zone action, but that was only in the first half. In the second half, tons of it. All right, so here's what happened. Uh, it, with uh, just about 9.40 uh, after the third quarter kicked off, uh, Dontarius Green, who you saw had a big run in those highlights, had an 88-yard TD run, putting uh, uh, Hawkinsville up six, uh, 10 to 6. After that, they blocked a punt, and Dakota Sloan had a 21-yard TD run with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. That came later, obviously, in the fourth quarter, uh, but that, is seven, that put them up 17 to 6. Hawkinsville after a 50-yard bomb also in the fourth quarter uh, by Mitchell County to number six, Terry Emanuel. He ran, uh, they set it up for a nice little run there. Uh, again, for six, two-point conversion was no good. And that is how you get to 17-12 uh, Hawkinsville over Mitchell County. Now that is your final score. So Hawkinsville will be moving on in the next round of the playoffs. Mitchell County will be sent packing. Guys, last week of the Blitz, I got to say, it's been real. Football fans, thank you for tuning in. This is Doug Reardon signing off. Johnny and Patty, bring us home, boys. <laughs> thank you very much, Doug.